today we're having a science festival here in GMIT called SciFest. It's part of a national initiative where these competitions are taking place in the Institutes of Technology all around the country during April and May. The idea really is to promote science at secondary school level from first year right through to transition year and, and hopefully beyond and to get students exhibiting uh, the work they're doing in the schools. So it's a very inclusive event uh, and hopefully high participation rates, great interest been shown here today and a fantastic standard as well. Our muscles is an indicator of water quality and we're from Dominican College on Taylor's Hill and we use the saltwater mussels found commonly on beaches in Galway and to test for the quality of water. So what we did, this is a continued experiment, we went to the BT Young Scientist and what we did was we put three commonly found household pollutants, antifreeze, surf detergent and fairy washing up liquid and as soon as we did that we saw that the mussels valves closed and their heart rate immediately dropped. And so uh, Anna will explain to you about the technology behind the experiment. All the technology we used was home built, so we built every single thing that we used here. Um, we built a, a data acquisition box here, and we built that from an old computer. There's basically an Arduino board in the bottom that we programmed to uh, collect all the results from the muscles. It then processes the results that it gets from the muscles, and it draws the graphs over here. And we reached the conclusion that when mussels have water, I mean food in their water, they, they react much better to the pollutants as when, they, um, when there's food in the water, they open their valves to feed and that's when they get the pollutants. So here's our project IVET, which is an application for farmers to help diagnose common illnesses in cattle. As you can see on our poster over here, uh, we have five diseases that we have chosen to put up on our poster. Um, this is only a brief description of uh, the disease and its prevention, uh, but in the uh, app which we intend to build, it has a more in-depth description. For example, here we have BVG. Uh, this app gives you just a brief description of what it is, the symptoms, the prevention and control, and the danger level. For example, this is high, you should contact the vet immediately. We're from Seymour College, Camara, and um, our project is called Hand Washing, Health is in Your Hands. So um, our aim was to see how thoroughly people wash their hands, and we did a sample on different age groups at, of 10 people. It made kind of like a graph, so we could compare all of them and see where most of the bacteria came up most often. So we made a folder and we drew out 10 different copies of hands, for each person, we just like drew in where the most of it we coloured in blue, where it most like the most bacteria was, and then where the spots were, it was just little speckles of bacteria there. And we found like we the ages range from like a six-year-old like to like adults. So we found that the six-year-old and the adults were very similar. Like there wasn't much difference. So they both kind of everyone has the same technique of washing hands, and they miss the same places. Our project is to determine whether there's a difference between natural and artificial colourings in sweets. Um, we carried out a survey with first years in our school to determine what the favourite sweets were in um, our school. Um, we came up with uh, six or seven different sweets and we tested them all. Um, we found out what e-numbers are in these sweets. We decided to um, figure out was there any side effects caused by these e-numbers. There was no side effects caused by the e-numbers in our sweets but um, there were some other uh, side effects caused by numbers such as um, tartrazine, carmosine and allure red. It's a great benefit to young people in entering such a competition that get exposed through interacting with people outside of the school, the universities, and the colleges, and state agencies. And with people that are actually real world practitioners of science, and we've really seen some of the projects um, well, that's really uh, taken them on. Students that are interacting in the second and third year of the secondary school. 